this is the middle of the Pacific. Retirees, honeymooners, and snowbirds come here for the warm tropical climate, blue skies, and local entertainment. But if you're watching the KiteSites.com series, you'll come here for the wind. Have a great time. We have the good wind, steady wind. The best spot to kiteboard on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. It's the best place in the world, man. It's Maui. Out on this beach is not always easy. We have our weird wind shadow here, so we try to educate them on the wind shadow and let them know or help them out launching. When you launch your kite here, always want to launch your kite here on Maui towards the water. Get it up in the air, head out, and get going, get away from the land. Even advanced kiters sometimes have issues. If you're ever here during the summertime, and you launch from this beach, you'll have respect for uh, people that can launch at this beach and come in and out without dropping their kite. And setting up your kite may take some practice. It gets packed. This isn't even crowded by Maui standards. Around uh, May, June, July, you can barely see sand on this beach. It does get a little crowded here. You can leave your large kite at home. Every day is a new adventure right now. I just went from 11 to a 15. Yesterday I rode a 7.5. Next week, Wind, wind, and more wind. Maybe 300 plus days a year of kite boarding. Lot. Maui is my favorite place in the world. That's why I live here because uh, there's wind all year long. And uh, summertime, it's strong winds, good to practice tricks. And uh, in the wintertime, it's uh, really light like conditions, so it's uh, really good um, for wave riding because the waves get really big and get up to like 30 feet or even more than that. And it's pretty cool. have high adrenaline, uh, we have some egos, we have um, a lot of people kind of rubbing shoulders. Uh, the kiteboarders are actually a community of people that have to look out for each other. So, you know, from the you know lowest beginner guy who's kind of taking his licks down the end of the beach to the top pro um, who's doing his tricks up here for the videos in the corner, we have to stick together and look out for each other because if one guy gets hurt or if there's a problem, it affects all of us. So we do actually look out for each other. Having said that, though, there are other user groups that we hear long before tide waters, and you know, especially in Hawaii, it's such a beautiful place. It's actually the culture is water sports. So you have the traditional users, you have the surfers that have been here for many years, you have uh, the fishermen been here a lifetime or generations. You have um, the canoe paddling club, 
even the windsurfers were here before the kiteboarders. And each of them have kind of eked out a niche and uh, pretty much got the whole area sorted out between themselves. And kiteboarders came along a little bit late in the game and they have to, uh, had to kind of find their space and earn their place out here on Maui's North Shore. Uh, so there's been friction between user groups, but we have it pretty much sorted out now. I mean, we have times and places where we do the different activities and to try and respect each other's need to access the water. And I went there for 20 years and you could windsurf and never meet anybody on the beach because you don't need anybody's help. With kiting, you don't need anybody's help, but it's nice to have someone launch you rather than self-launch. It's nice to have somebody catch your kite for you rather than you know, land it yourself. It's a real, much more friendly sport than windsurfing ever was because everyone's sort of dependent on each other. Everyone helps each other. If you're a beginner, advanced, or a pro, you always get help. If you lose your board or your kite, people help you get it back in. People from Germany, France, you'll hear four or five different languages, but the kiting is what unites us all, and we all try to take care of one another. Coming soon. We call it the pro pool. It's where you go and pull your best tricks. Plus. No, I think it's a great spot to learn. There's a lot of instructors on the beach. It's so fun, you'll probably want to quit your day jobs. My tether in the wind. Thanks for watching the KiteSize.com video series. If you appear on camera in any of our episodes, get your free KiteSize.com t-shirt. Just pay shipping and handling, only nine bucks in the US and Canada. Go to KiteSize.com to order yours today.